in your imagination, in my imagination, I, um, I saw a flash of light, you know, no, sorry, a, a dash of color. Let's put it that way. If you see the kingfisher yes. bird, mm -hmm. you don't actually see it. You just see a flash of color as it zips across from tree to tree. And I just saw in my mind that dash of color in a gray world. And so, but of course, when you start drawing it, it's nothing like your imagination. It's very disappointing. And um, I had to keep working at it. And, but I wanted it to look spontaneous. I also wanted him to be, uh, imp not impatient, well, yes, impatient, but I wanted him to be trying to stress something. So I've got him perched on the edge of the rock and he's trying to get the point across. How much longer? How many times do I have to keep telling you this? You know, how much longer? Uh, I don't have a lot of time. I've got a destiny. I've got something to do. I'd rather not do it, but I'm going to do it. And um, pay attention. Mm. And of course, listening to uh, what John just said, they're hard sayings. Mm. He who divorces his wife causes her to commit adultery if she remarries. Um, that's a hard saying, especially today. Mm. But I mean, it was a hard saying then. Mm. And... Somewhere else in, in the gospel, he says to those who say, why did Moses give us a, allow us to be divorced? He said, because your hearts are hard. And that struck home. Mm. It's not that I fell out of love. I fell in love and then I fell out of love. It's not that, it's because my heart is hard. I have chosen not to love my wife. I chose not to love my wife. I've chosen to fancy a younger woman. Or I've chosen to live my own life. I want to go off and do my own thing. Mm. I don't like being shackled down. Whatever. It's hardness of heart. It's selfishness. And it keeps coming back to me. Time and time again, Les, you're too wrapped up in yourself. You're too wrapped up in yourself. You have a wife. You have to love her. I expect you to love her. Mm. And um, anyway, that's... that's <laughs> I, I did want uh, a lot more people in the picture... I wanted a child between these two, looking up at them, because I wanted a family, and I wanted him, uh, sorry him, I mean Jesus, <laughs> to be reminding these two that they belong together. He's reminding them in his sermon, and, and they're just turning and looking at each other, yes, yes, and the child's looking up at them, but it was very difficult, you know, <laughs> I'm an amateur, you know, but... Um, uh, I'm very pleased with it, in spite of that. I, I'm very happy with it. And uh, uh, like I said in the writing, getting a human figure, if you're not used to doing it, it was extremely difficult. Every, you know, the, the top half of the body was too small, the legs were too long, or the other way around. Or, uh, but I, I eventually I got there. Uh, I think so, anyway. And the rock, the rock, um, we happened to be down... What's, it, what's that river down south where the sandbar closes off the river? Is that Moor River? There's a sandbar that closes off the river. Well, as we were down there, I said, oh, stop a minute, there's some rocks. So I took a quick picture of the rocks on the side of the hill and then just <coughs> trying to copy that. So, <laughs> I cheated, I copied nature. Um, and I wanted a lot more people. I wanted more people disappearing down the hill there, mm. so that there was a sense of people coming to hear him. Mm. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Um, but uh, I think it's important, this is important. He said, your hearts are hard, yeah. and another part. This last bit here, I think, we, we've had to struggle. Uh, we just celebrated 50 years of yeah. marriage. <laughs> yeah, a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, we celebrated 50 years of marriage. And we've struggled to learn that the respect and love we have for our life's companion can only develop by our choice. We yes. choose to stick at it. Mm -hmm. Jesus takes the Jews beyond mere obedience to the law. And of course, uh, Paul says the law is a curse because mm -hmm. we can't keep it. Fortunately, we have a way out. A get out of jail card, and that's Jesus. Um, 
it takes us beyond mere observance of the law, right? You know, you, you mustn't desire what somebody else has got. Well, who, who hasn't broken that law? You know? <laughs> if you've broken that, you've broken them all. Um, to the heart, it takes us deeper to the heart, where the will is to follow him, finds its source. Somebody pointed out to me a few months ago, the word good, where it talks about Eve, in the Garden of Eden, she saw that the tree was good for food. God had told Adam it was bad, but she decided it was good for food. And that's where we go wrong. We decide what we think is right, regardless of what God says. And so we have to sort of bring our thinking back round to Jesus, uh, uh, the God's way of looking at things, and realise, yes, you're right, God. That is wrong. That is always wrong. That is right. That is always right. And I have to learn to submit to you. And she didn't submit to Adam. Uh, Adam. Adam didn't submit to God. Um, they're equally guilty. And we are equally guilty, fortunately, by the grace of God. Jesus submitted to his father in the Garden of Gethsemane. I will do your will. I will go through with this. And aren't we blessed? I, I find that very touching that he loves me that much that he was prepared to experience separation from his father and go, the torture and death is bad enough, but he was separated from all that's good and experienced what we deserve. And uh, it just moves me that someone like me can be loved. <laughs>